How's it growing? This Ping Tong eggplant is seven feet tall, and this Florida Market eggplant has grown 10 feet. No, eggplant isn't normally a tree, and these are not mutations. It's just eggplant growing on trees. Of course, no eggplant gets that big on its own. The secret is here at the base. This is Solanum torvum, also known as turkey berry or eggplant pea. It thrives on neglect and even in poor soil. Eggplant can be grafted onto turkey berry by attaching a small piece of eggplant like this to the torvum plant with the torvum's disease resistant rootstock. This allows the eggplant to grow bigger, healthier, and benefiting from the torvum's tough, resilient root system. Hold up, stack. A lot of people may not know what rootstock means, and grafting could be awfully intimidating to a lot of gardeners. Good point. As Bo mentioned, grafting can be intimidating, but we'll simplify it step by step in part two. But for now, let's take a close look at the torvum plant and why I consider it one of the most valuable plants in my garden. Watch this and it'll all make sense. You could say nature used this plant to teach you a lesson. Yep, I'll get back to that. But first, let's talk torvum. Talk torvum, what language is that? Torvum thrives in tropical and subtropical climates, hardiness zones eight and warmer. And it's so widespread that its origins are debated but many believe that it's native to Central and South America. I came across this one on a hike in Costa Rica. It's a wild cousin of eggplant, and you can see the resemblance in the fuzzy leaves, and it's easiest to propagate it with large woody cuttings. Oh, like Moringa. Exactly, you can find seeds on Etsy. Some sources say that Torvum lives only about two years. You read that online? Yep, and we all know the internet is all correct, right? Right. From my experience, the lifespan is about five to six years. Turkey berry produces edible berries packed with iron, calcium, and magnesium. And studies suggest benefits like aiding digestion and regulating blood sugar. In Southeast Asia, these are market staples. In Jamaica, they call them sasumba or goli beans. Right, and when ripe, they turn yellowish green, but don't eat them raw. Yeah, and you could, but they taste like sharp, bitter regret. Plus, in large amounts, raw berries can be harmful. Cooked though, they're great. Usually I steam them and then mix them with rice. Uh, stack. In Amanda Pike's book, she explains that uh, torvum can be mistaken for poisonous selenums. How do we tell the difference? Great question. There are clear differences. Torvum's leaves really do resemble eggplant. They're slightly fuzzy with prominent veins. Poisonous lookalikes tend to have smoother, lance-shaped leaves. Torvum has small thorns, and here thorns are a good sign because many toxic varieties are spineless. Torvum flowers are small, white, star-shaped with yellow centers and grow in clusters. Toxic relatives might have similar flowers, but not in dense clusters. Torvum berries ripen to yellowish green. If berries are scattered and turn black when ripe, stay clear. All right, Stack, spill it. What did nature teach you? Right, this torvum plant taught me a valuable lesson about nature. One day I noticed it was covered with aphids. My first thought was to blast them off with the hose, but then I noticed a ladybug. And you didn't panic spray. That's growth. The next day, two ladybugs. Then there were more. For six months, I saw ladybugs or their larvae on their daily. So basically, that tour of them turned into a ladybug restaurant. Exactly. Ants are known to farm aphids. Why? Because aphids secrete a sweet honeydew that ants love. Ants are so hooked on this that it's common to see them race up and down the plant, tending to the aphids as they did on this eggplant. I've seen this numerous times with eggplant grafted on the torvum as well as non-grafted torvum. Torvum is tough. It can handle an aphid infestation, supporting predator insects. Eventually the ants gave up their farming aphids because the ladybugs just kept eating them. The result, a much healthier ecosystem overall. This gives predatory insects a reason not only to visit, but to live in my garden. So torvum is the ideal trap plant or sacrificial plant because of its resilience. If it looks a little worn out, that's okay. It's been doing its part in keeping the ecosystem in check. 
unless it's the end of the lifespan, it will come back stronger. It's not just a rootstock for large eggplants, it's a powerful tool for growing food. In part two, I'll explain how to graft eggplant onto Torvum so that you can grow your own eggplant trees. This book that Bo mentioned, Transforming Florida Yards by Amanda Pike, is a great resource for Florida gardeners or in similar climates. You can find the link in the description by using our affiliate links. It helps support the mission of Stacks Urban Harvest at no extra cost to you. You ready, Stack? Ready. Live regeneratively and let's grow together. Mm -hmm.